Blocks first update 18 or 20, at this point I don't know what people call it, is going to add lots of new content to the game. With lots of reworks, new fruits, new items, and much more. But the question is, are you prepared for the update? If your answer is no, I have gathered 9 different things you should do before the new update. If you ever want to prepare of course. But if you do, here they are. As most of you probably knows, just to buy something in Blux Fruits, you either need Belly or Fragment. Or Robux, but we don't talk about that. So since the new update is going to add lots of stuff for you to buy, it's best to grind belly before the new update. So you wouldn't have to experience someone who couldn't spin for a fruit or buy a fruit in stock because they didn't have enough money. Now there's a couple of different ways for you to grind belly in Blux Fruits, but amongst all of them, best grinding method is doing the CB stunt. So just get some friend or random people from Discord and just do CB stunt on Tertsy because there's a chance that you can get a rumbling butter. And from the rumbling butter, you can probably get 1 million belly if you have 2 times money game pass. But if you are looking for a different way to grind belly other than sea beast, I will link one of my old videos. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing you should do. Well of course, same as belly, fragment is also very important to buy stuff in the game. And considering they will probably start adding V3 version of fighting styles or just new fruit awakenings, it's very important for you to get fragment to awaken your fruit or get the new fighting style when they drop the update. So if you have trash fruits in your inventory like kilo, chop or spin, you can just make them cheap and if you have the bottle fruit as well, you can just do raids by your own to get fragments. But yeah, let's move on to the third topic. Well, it's pretty obvious that they are going to add lots of stuff to the third C. So I don't really think that anyone would like to grind while there's lots of stuff to explore in the game. We still don't have any release date for the new update, so there's still time for you to grind until max level. Also don't forget to check out Gamer Robot's channel because Admin Zeal is either dropping 2x XP or stat reset code each video. Ok so we already have 1 star upgrade for each sword and gun in the game, but I'm pretty sure they are going to add more stars in the future updates. So if you are max level and you don't really have anything else to do, you can just hop in the game and grind for materials. Okay, I think we all can agree that Blocks Fruit's current bounty hunting system is just consists of getting a no-skill fruit and just spamming it. And for the future updates, I don't think it will be much different. Okay, so while you still have time, I would suggest you grinding for max bounty or honor, because I'm pretty sure the new fruits is going to be more broken and more brain dead. So if you like collecting titles like me, it's better for you to grind bounty now to get those bounty titles. If you already have got human, I don't think this step is necessary for you, but if you don't have it, I would at least suggest you to grind for that step mastery, because they are going in a specific order when they are adding new fighting styles. As I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure they are going to add more stars into upgrading system, so it's better for you to upgrade the gun or sword that you use most in the game. So when they add new stars to the upgrading system, you can just upgrade it right away. Okay, so. There is two confirmed fruit rework for the new update, which is dragon and control fruit. So if you are not rich enough to get those fruit permanent, maybe try to get them through trading before they rework it. Because trust me, 90% of the people will overprice dragon and control fruit when they add the new reworks. I left this one for less because I don't think everyone has a money to waste on permanent fruits. But if you are thinking to buy permanent fruit, I would suggest getting dragon or control rework. Because as we can see from the previous reworks, their robux price increase when they do a good rework. And yeah, I guess this will be it for this episode. If you can do all 9 things that I said in this video, I'm pretty sure you will be ready for the update and experience everything as they dropped. But yeah, I guess I will end the video here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see all of you in the next one.